This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. This video shows you an example of how to use Draeger breathing system filters in the adult intensive care unit. The setup includes a ventilator, including a hose system, expiratory valve and flow sensor. The video focuses on the placement of breathing system filters and HMEs. To reduce ventilation-induced lung injury, it is recommended to use either active or passive humidification of inspired gases. In the first application scenario, active humidification is used. In this setup, no patient side filter is used so that the active humidification performance of the system is not compromised and so as not to unnecessarily increase the patient's work of breathing. Placing a filter in the expiratory branch before the expiratory valve is recommended to protect the user and the ventilator. A mechanical filter is recommended for this purpose due to its hydrophobic properties as it offers constant filtration performance in a system with active humidification. In this example, a SafeStar 55 Plus is used. A SafeStar 90 Plus or an expiratory heated filter, EHF for short, could also be used here. It is not necessary to place another filter in front of the inspiratory valve unless the ventilator used is a turbine-driven device that applies ambient air. In the second application scenario, passive humidification is used. This setup requires a patient side filter and HME. The filter, in this example, our Twinstar HEPA Plus, is placed between the patient end of the inspiratory branch of the host system and the patient interface. Alternatively, a Twinstar 55 Plus can be used. The next step is to insert a filter into the expiratory branch. In this example, a SafeStar 55 Plus filter is used. Alternatively, a SafeStar 90 Plus or an EHF can be used. The filter is placed in the expiratory branch in front of the expiratory valve of the ventilator to protect the user and the ventilator from contamination. It is not necessary to place another filter in front of the inspiratory valve unless the ventilator used is a turbine-driven device that applies ambient air. After assembly, carefully check that all components are firmly and tightly connected and carry out the unit tests described in the instructions for use. The use of filters and HME requires special care and supervision by the user. Not all products, features or services mentioned in this video are for sale in all countries. Contact your local Draeger representative for more information.